praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. This is Evangelist Brenda Thompson coming to you today. Today I greet you in the marvelous name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The title of my message today is The Power and the Glory. My message is taken from Matthew chapter 6 and reading verse 5 to 13 and my reference is Psalm 145 verse 1 to 13. And when thou prayest, thou shalt not be as the hypocrites are. For they love to pray standing in the synagogues and in the corners of the street that they may be seen of men. Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. But thou, when thou prayest, enter into thy closet, and when thou hast shut thy door, pray to thy Father which is in secret. And thy father which is in secret shall reward thee openly. But when ye pray, use not vain repetitions as the heathen do. For they think that they shall be heard for their much speaking. Be not ye therefore like unto them. For your father knoweth what things ye have need of. Before you ask him. After this manner, therefore, pray, Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debts. Psalm 145, verse 1 to 3. I will extol thee, my God, O King, and I will bless thy name forever and ever. Every day will I bless thee, and I will praise thy name forever and ever. Great is the Lord, and greatly to be praised, and his greatness is unsearchable. One generation shall praise thy works to another, and shall declare thy mighty acts. I will speak of the glorious honor of thy majesty, and of thy wondrous act, works. And men shall speak of the might of thy terrible acts, and I will declare thy greatness. They shall abundantly utter the memory of thy great goodness and shall sing of thy righteousness. The Lord is gracious and full of compassion, slow to anger and of great mercy. The Lord is good to all and his tender mercies are over all his works. All thy works shall praise thee, O Lord, and thy sin shall bless thee. They shall speak of the glory of thy kingdom and talk of thy power, to make known to the sons of men his mighty acts and the glorious majesty of his kingdom. Father, I come to you today in no other name than in the mighty name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I pray that this message will be a blessing to all those who hear this message, that it will draw men and women, boys and girls, to the cross of Calvary. I pray all these mercies in Jesus' name. Amen. This scripture teaches us the principle of prayer. If we want results, in our prayer life, we must have knowledge or the principle 
of the world. Of God. We must know how to pray. And this scripture teaches us how to pray. Verse 13 specifically says it is revolutionary. It changes the way we think and pray. Here Jesus teaches his disciples that they should first be walking in a place of righteousness. What is righteousness? Righteousness is holiness. To get results in our prayer life. The scripture says, and leads us not, lead us not into temptation. God does not lead us into temptation. It's the devil. Jesus says in Matthew chapter 26 and verse 41, Watch and pray that ye enter not into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. 1 Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 13 also says, There has no temptation taken or overtaken you, but such as is common to man. But God is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able, but will with the temptation also make a way of escape that ye may be able to bear or endure it. In 2 Peter chapter 2 and verse 9, the Bible also says, that the Lord knoweth how to deliver the godly out of temptations and to reserve the unjust unto the day of judgment to be punished. We must continue not only in prayer, but our prayer must also be consistent in the word of God that says, deliver us from evil. It means the evil one from violence and harm. And the reason why we can successfully pray this prayer is because thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory. It means that we have the victory and will continue to have the victory because this kingdom is an, is an earthly kingdom but this kingdom is heavenly and we have all the keys to this kingdom we have the keys to bind and loose everything in heaven and earth in hell and all the powers of hell and darkness because this kingdom is not an earthly kingdom. This kingdom is a heavenly kingdom. And in the seas and the ocean also. And this is what gives us the authority to be able to declare boldly the power and the glory. In my conclusion today, I would like to pray a prayer of thanksgiving for mercy, for grace, for peace, for truth, a prayer of thanksgiving, a prayer of victory. Father, I thank you today. I honor you. I worship you. I magnify your magnificent name. Today, in the name of Jesus, I pray a prayer of thanksgiving for mercy, for grace, for peace, for truth, for righteousness, for hope.